Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET.Core and today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of shop uh, fast food project in ESP.NET.Core. So here we have a cart controller as well as the order controller. So just uh, open the order controller first and just go for the uh, index section method where uh, I have um, all orders related to, uh, with the status message. So you can see in the order controller and here we have a order detail also. So in the index section method here we have some order details as well as the order detail just I want to go. So you can uh, you can see uh, here we have some details of, uh, which is related to the orders. Okay. So uh, first first of all go for the layout.cshtml and just I want to add orders in the drop down list. And if you have uh, if you if you are a customer then just uh, I want to say. Uh, you are a customer and just uh, uh, just you have an options for the order go for the orders so so user dot is in role that's type cms and you can just create a new one like that user dot is in role admin so just copy that code and paste just after that Okay, so uh, in the DB initializer class here we have some details of the roles like admin, manager, and customer. So just you can say that uh, if a user dot is in role that is customer, then customer can see the orders as well as your account. Okay, so uh, just add a new uh, role that is customer, and just I want to add a new drop down for the customer. And uh, just I want to change the CMS instead of your account with the your account. Okay. In the next video tutorial, just I want to take uh, some order details for the admin. So have a uh, you can say. Okay. So just uh, there is a lots of options for the cus uh, for the customer. So there is a no anything options like that category and subcategories only we have some uh, ESP controller that is orders and coupons also so you can say item orders now you can save this and uh, run your project In the CMS, just change the name that is your account. Okay. So here we have uh, just changed some details for the customer. So you can say that uh, for the admin, we have some options like category, subcategory, items, coupons, and uh, order also. So admin can also see the orders, the listed orders and uh, payment approved orders and unapproved orders and processing orders and etc. So these are the options we have and just now I want to change these all. Uh, if you have a admin, if you have, uh, if you have admin roles, then you can say that uh, you can change any order status. And if you are a customer, then you can say after the payment approval, then you get that received, uh, you get uh, your order, your fast food orders. So here we have your account like home, privacy, cards, and the, you are in the customer account. And here you can see that uh, there is more uh, drop down menu is not open properly. So just I want to open because the labeled area labeled by is matched with your admin. Just change this. Okay, so here we have a ID that is a nav bar menu link. And just that is the same with the admin. So just I want to change 
with your uh, with your uh, new name that is just I want to take uh, customer prefix with this name okay so you can just define that is for customer only so just I want to take copy and paste it here okay so everything is clear now just go for the next part uh, to run your project and you can see that here we have a drop down menu and just when we click on that part and just restart it project if you if you are not pro, uh, if you are not uh, taking these types of visibilities so just to click to proceed to pay button and here we have some options like 26 and just I want to take 530 plus order and your order ID is generated after the payment approval just change the name Smith card information and CVV number that is the test card number you can say okay so everything is fine now your transaction is successful and your ID is 7 okay now just go for the orders and you can see that your listed order is visible here all order status and the payment status are pending right now just I want to uh, if you want to go for the detail section then you will find your orders and if you are admin then you can say that uh, your order is processing under the process and lots of options is there so for the index section method you can just say that user dot is in role admin then you will find all orders and if you are a customer role then you will find only your orders and then you can change also the status with the pending approved under process shipped and all process so just when we click on the shipped all and oops and uh, so here we have a lots of options like related to the status and status message is going for the uh, state uh, in the route and here we have the under process pending approval etc so just continue and you can see that only the approved message right here and here we have uh, some options are there to related to delete the orders but uh, customer have not any rights to delete and edit the orders only can see the details of the order okay so just change uh, in the index.cshtml file just I want to remove the edit and delete section you notice that if you want uh, if you want uh, uh, the open in the edit in the by URL there is a no action method regarding for the edit and delete so that's why that's why I'm saying to delete from here only the order details right now so just change the action method method that is order details in order details you can say that here we have a order view model in the order view model um, we found uh, some uh, topics related to your order view model that is order header and that list of the order details so order header is the context dot order header dot include like that and order details is like that context dot order details dot include with the items So here we have order details just click on the fast food dot web So order control is there and you will find like that so you can say here we have a, a cart and the orders so just click on the orders and you will find if you are admin 
then just go for the admin details and if you are a customer then just go for the customer accounts so here we have a customer accounts and you can say that here we have a approved order as well as your uh, like that and only we have a details method and just uh, details is with the go for the url but it's not appear right now so just change your uh, details dot uh, cshtml file and you will find that your orders with the details so approved just when we click on the approved remove the debug point and here we have and just go for the details and here we have okay so uh, here we have a template where we will show the name phone number email order date payment date payment status but only we uh, only uh, update order button and you can see that order update button will um, will visible for your admin account only so just remove from here only and you can say here we have a order details page so you can say that only admin can see so if a user is in admin role then only uh, update order button is visible for admin role so just copy the code from here and paste it here so you can say that uh, pickup details are there and uh, the name and uh, just when we log in into the admin account then you will say that your uh, order details are uh, shown by the admin so this is the actually oops it's not an admin just i want to show uh, the details of the admin first of all okay so here we have okay just log in into the system and here we have so the fast foods cms and there we have orders so pending approval under process and shipped all pros uh, just approval details and here we have so the start processing and the cancel order is also have an option for the admin okay so in the later video tutorial just i want to uh, start uh, for writing the code for your uh, start shipping as well as uh, process the orders so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all the videos